What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. Okay, so there was a whole lot going on in the previous three shorts that I posted. I will put those all in a video playlist, probably in the backpacking catch-all one, something like that. But what I wanted to do is I wanted an alternative to hot chocolate that didn't have a whole ton of sugar and minimized the jittery after effects of hot chocolate. So how do you do that? Also, as a byproduct of doing all this testing and experimenting, which is what this channel is pretty much all about, Kuder Malloy product reviews, hello. I found out that if you mixed a certain ratio and combination of all this, it actually tastes like coffee. It tastes like hot chocolate mixed with a peanut butter cup mixed with chocolate. And in doing a little more research, I found out that Orgain actually makes a peppermint hot cocoa protein powder mix. Just add hot water and boom, you have hot cocoa, peppermint hot cocoa, hot chocolate. So all that stuff will be down in the description section down there below. I'll also try to pin it in the comment section if you just want to get to it faster or whatever. There's also some other great links to products that I have tested and reviewed in the past down in that description section, so make sure to check that out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, wherever that is, if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more of it. Okay, so let's get into it. So first I tried the Vital Proteins, Collagen Peptides, the chocolate flavor, with just hot water. Tastes exactly like hot chocolate, mixes, mixes up very, very well. It's powered by Stevia, which does not, thank goodness, does not have that chemical sugar aftertaste or whatever. There's your ingredients, right? Powered by Stevia. That's what's in it. You also get these amino acids and all that good stuff. So read your labels. Make sure you're not allergic to anything as well. If you just want straight up hot chocolate, backpacking, hiking, camping, you're at home, whatever, and you don't want all the added sugar that usually comes with hot chocolate, right? I don't want to mention any specific names, but there could be 30 to 35 grams of added sugar in those hot chocolate packets. Hey, you might want to consider this as an alternative, right? So that's what it looks like when it's all mixed up. Pretty much looks like hot chocolate. It tastes like hot chocolate. The flavor's great. Like I said, the stevia in here does not does not have that weird fake sugar chemical aftertaste. So it actually tastes pretty good. It's not too sweet. Very rich chocolatey flavor. You'll have to experiment. One scoop, two scoops, one cup of water, one and a half cups of water. What I would recommend is boil your water first, then add this, then mix it up until it's mixed up nice and smooth. And there you go. Okay, second on the list was the organic protein. This is the peanut butter cup version. Same sweetener. This is powered by Stevia. Let's take a look at the labels right here. There's a whole lot going on in that label because this is an organic pro or plant-based protein powder, but there's no sugar. It's powered by Stevia. If you look in the lower right-hand corner, see how it says organic Reb A, Stevia extract, sea salt, whatever. So thank goodness there's no sugar in here. There's a lot of other stuff going on. There's also peanuts in here. So if you're allergic to peanuts, read your label. Make sure you know what you're getting into. I do not want you to get into the hospital. Got it? Okay, so same thing. Boiled, I boiled up a cup of water. I added one scoop of this. This is how it mixed up. Pretty smooth, not any clumping or whatever. And the flavor is great. So hot water, one scoop of this. I like the taste. If I was backpacking, camping, hiking, whatever, or even just at home and I wanted some hot chocolate, I would do either one of these. The taste is great. It, it tastes really, really good. So this cup in the middle was a mix of the two of these, right? So I put one scoop of each into here, put in some hot water. It's really important that you boil the water first Pour that into the cup that you're going to use, then put in the powder. Otherwise, you might get some clumping or residue as an experiment. I tried that, and that's what I got. I got some residue in the bottom of the pan. So just boiled the water first, then added a scoop of whatever, and then mix it up. So mixing the two together, the collagen peptides and the organic protein peanut butter cup, the flavor is a little bit different. Obviously, it tastes like a warm, hot cocoa with a Reese's peanut butter cup flavor to it. Right. And the good news is, is if you just did these two, 
mixed together. You're not allergic to peanuts, obviously. The taste is great. Tastes just like hot chocolate with like a little bit of a coffee kind of back taste to it. So then let's get into now adding into the mix the powdered peanut butter. So this stuff, right, I wanted to see what the stuff would do if I added this to the mix. There's only two grams of added sh of total sugars, right, including one gram of added sugar. Your total carbohydrates five per two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. So not a whole lot of sugar going on here, right? Again, a lot of the pre-mixed hot cocoa powders that are on the market have 30, 35 grams of added sugar. So think about this. If you're a parent, you're, you're just a regular person trying to stay as healthy as you can be and you're trying to cut out sugar from your diet and you're not allergic to peanuts or any of the products that might be in here or in here. Like I said, read your labels very carefully. Take a screenshot of the ones that I showed you. But if you add the powdered peanut butter, now you've got, in essence, a little bit of a creamer, right? And also a thickening agent. So if I added a little bit of the powdered peanut butter to each of these, it would just make it a little thicker, richer, fuller, that kind of a vibe, give you a little more frothiness, etc. What I also noticed was the more peanut butter, the powdered peanut butter that I added, the more and more it tasted like coffee, right? So hot chocolate with a coffee aftertaste or back taster or whatever, I guess. But when you add the powdered peanut butter, now all of a sudden it tastes more and more like coffee. So you'll have to experiment on your own and see what works for you. The One of the benefits that I noticed was I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't like the way coffee makes me feel, but sometimes I like the taste. I like the flavor, right? So this would be an alternative to coffee without having the side effects that coffee gives me. In terms of caffeine, that was another big question that came up in the comments in those three, one, two, three short videos that I posted. This has chocolate. This has chocolate in it, right? It's alkalized chocolate which supposedly is a process which removes a lot of the caffeine. So it's kind of like decaffeinated. Yes, there is going to be some caffeine in there, right? But it's not going to be as bad as, say, drinking a cup of coffee. I'm not technically, scientifically claiming to be an expert or anything, but I would guesstimate using bro science, right? That's what YouTube is all about. That probably there's less caffeine in mixing these chocolate blends than there would be even in decaffeinated coffee. You'll have to do your own research. You'll have to experiment, see how your body reacts to it. And then obviously, once again, please read the labels. If you're allergic to something, I think this would be your primary source to read some labels to see if you're allergic to any of this stuff. Right, because obviously the last thing I want anyone to do is it to, is to end up in the hospital, right? And if you really want to go that far, bring this screenshot to your doctor, right, and see what they say if you can take it or if you can't take it or whatever. But obviously, we're trying to keep everybody healthy and safe. Just showing everybody my research, my experimentation, Cooter Malloy product reviews, right? Ding, ding, ding. Hello. This is what this channel is all about: is trying to find best bang for the buck products trying to find alternatives to things. Maybe you're not a coffee drinker. Maybe you can't drink coffee, but you want the coffee flavor. This would be an option. If you just wanted something that tastes straight up like hot chocolate and you're allergic to peanuts, this might be an option for you, right? Let's look at that label once again, that ingredient label in there. Cocoa powder, natural flavor, sea salt, stevia leaf, red M whatever that means, tastes just like hot chocolate, right? Tastes exactly like hot chocolate without the sugar. Does not have that, does not have that fake sugar chemical aftertaste or whatever. If you want to go this route and only this route, peanut butter cup flavored hot chocolate, maybe has just a li little bit of like coffee aftertaste, but not bad. I mean, it's not as bad as adding the full-blown powdered peanut butter. But if you want to go this route and you're not allergic to peanuts or anything that was on that list, 
This would be another option powered by Stevia. Again, does not have that fake sugar chemical aftertaste or whatever. If you want to mix the two together, right, and start experimenting, that would be your option. The other option or another option would be that Orgain Organic Protein makes a peppermint hot cocoa protein powder. There'll be a link down in the description. I'll try to put the link in the comments section and pin that as well. So be sure to check out those links. Also go through the video playlist. I'll put this in the backpacker list. I'll put this in the food catch-all playlist. So go into my channel. Should be a picture of me. Click that. You'll see all the playlists. You kind of go and experiment. So that would be your third. That would be another option would be this. Mixing the two together. Whatever you want to do. If you want a little more smoothness. The collagen peptides obviously adds a little thickening of its own to the mix. Here's what they look like again. So if you want to get a screenshot of that, pretty nice, pretty flavorful. I liked all three. I would, I would rotate all three depending on whatever, you know, but pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I mean, that's pretty thick. This one here as well, pretty thick. And then this one here as well, pretty, pretty thick. So you can kind of get a sense of it. I would maybe have some fun with somebody, you know, try to, try to see what your people around you think, you know, give it to them, let them try it, make sure they're not allergic to anything on these lists. You know, ask them at first, say, hey, are you allergic to anything? Here's what's in it. What do you think? Do a side-by-side -side coffee comparison and taste test thing and see what happens. Go for it. Do whatever you got to do. Then another option would be if you want a more thicker, right? This is acts as a thickening agent. If you want a thicker hot cocoa or if you want something that tastes more and more and more like coffee, try this and see what happens. And you're not allergic to it. Obviously, if you're not allergic to peanuts, there's that label one more time. So you can kind of see what's in there. Contains peanuts, right? Ingredients, roasted peanuts, sugar, and salt. But the sugar is only one gram of added sugar. There's two total sugars per two tablespoons of this stuff. So experiment, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, one cup of water, one half cup of water. See what works for you. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. Also, there are some links to some other cool products down in the description section down there below. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when these videos come out. I'm Kuda Malloy, getting ready for my backpacking trip tomorrow, March 3rd, 4th, and 5th through Sunday. So tomorrow through Sunday, I'll be up in the San Gabriel Mountains. If any of you want to join me on that one, it's going to be a cold, <laughs> cold, chilly trip. Or you want to join me on future backpacking or e-biking rides and that kind of stuff. I'm always looking for great people, especially if I can find them in the subscribers that I have, to join me on these adventures. So comment in the comment section down there below. Find me on Facebook. There's a link to my Facebook page in the description. Find me on Facebook. Hit me up. Send me a message. Say, hey, I saw one of your videos. Interested in going backpacking, camping, whatever. Usually the groups of people we get are anywhere from six to 20, sometimes 30 people. So definitely enjoy the group camp outs, that kind of vibe. Most of the time, I'm usually up in the San Gabriel Mountains. I'm waiting for the Los Padres forest to open. Want to do some backpacking up in that area as well. Typically, it's a trail camp, right? Like a campsite that's next to a trail. All this stuff goes great. On backpacking trips and camping trips, by the way. Hint, hint. That's the reason why I did this video. <laughs> so you get the idea. And then e-bike rides. Usually I'm in the San Fernando Valley a lot. I go to Los Angeles every once in a while. Pacific Coast Highway a little bit. Agura, Thousand Oaks area, Westlake Village. Try to do my e-bike rides out there. So if you're interested in meeting up with me, safety in numbers, you know, group mentality. Let's all have some fun. No egos. Lots of great laughs. And I will catch you all on the next exciting adventure.